Welcome to the Chemotherapy Basics course. Our goal is to help you learn about your treatment and understand how you may partner in your care. This course is designed to help you understand basic knowledge about chemotherapy and the possible side effects you may experience. Your nurse and doctor will have additional information when you are seen in the doctor's office. Please ask any and all questions you may have. Every question is important to you and to us. With this information, we hope you have a better understanding of what you can do to help manage possible side effects. Your healthcare team is here to help you. We are on this journey with you. Chemotherapy, or chemo, is used to describe the medications that kill cancer cells directly. Most frequently, chemo is given by intravenous line. It may also be a pill that is taken at home by mouth. Other medications that may be a part of your treatment are biologic therapy, monoclonal therapy, targeted therapy, and hormonal therapy. The medications work differently and have different effects. For our discussions in chemotherapy basics, we will refer to all anti-cancer medications as chemo or chemotherapy. Not all chemotherapy medications work in all types of cancer. Drugs may be given as a single medication or may be given in combination with other medications. The regimen may be either a single day or up to five days in a row. Some IV chemotherapy requires placement of a port. A port is a device approximately the size of a quarter that is implanted under the skin by a surgeon. The device uses a special needle that nurses can use for chemotherapy, blood draws, and IV fluids. A port may stay in place for months or even years. As with most medications, chemotherapy drugs may have side effects. Side effects are the unintended actions that occur as a direct result of taking medication. Not all chemotherapy causes all side effects. Chemo does not cause side effects in everyone. Different people may have different reactions. It is important to remember the severity of the side effect does not indicate the effectiveness of the treatment. Most side effects are temporary, but there are some side effects that are more long-term. Your doctor or nurse will discuss the side effects that could exist in your personal treatment. It will also be explained whether these side effects are short-term or long-term. Chemotherapy works on cells that grow at a fast rate, both the good and the bad cells. For example, our hair cells grow quickly. Some chemotherapy drugs cause hair loss. There are some insurance companies that will pay for wigs with a doctor's prescription. Please ask your doctor to write a prescription for you if required by your insurance. Some people prefer to wear hats or scarves. Be careful to protect your skin when you are out in the sun. Some people experience nausea and or vomiting after chemotherapy treatments. Anti-nausea medications will be prescribed to manage this side effect. Be sure to take the anti-nausea medications as prescribed. If they are prescribed on an as-needed basis, take the medicine at the first sign of nausea. This will help you to have the most effective control of the nausea. If the medications are not working, alert your doctor or nurse. There may be other medicines available to help. During chemo, you may experience low blood counts. Different cells and parts of your blood will not be able to work as efficiently. There are three different types of blood cells the doctor will monitor. White blood cells fight infection, red blood cells carry oxygen, and platelets help blood to clot. One of the most common and concerning side effects of chemotherapy is a low white blood cell count. When this is low, you are at increased risk of infection. During this time, it is recommended that you wash your hands frequently. Also, avoid crowds and people who are sick. Outside of these recommendations, being with loved ones, friends, and coworkers is okay. Fever may be a symptom of infection that needs to be evaluated urgently while receiving chemotherapy. Be sure to check with your doctor or nurse for guidelines for who and when to call if you develop a fever. If you are ever unsure about when to call about a fever, please call. During non-business hours, you may call and speak to the on-call physician to see if you need to be evaluated in the symptom management clinic or emergency room. Before starting chemo, be sure your dental care is up to date. Dental care should not be done during chemotherapy when you are at risk for infection. Some chemo drugs affect the cells in the lining of the mouth. This may cause mouth sores, taste changes, dry mouth, or infection. It is important to perform good mouth or oral care. It is recommended you brush your teeth twice a day. 
For relief of mouth sores, rinse your mouth several times a day with a solution of one teaspoon salt, one tablespoon baking soda, and eight ounces of water. Avoid mouthwashes that contain alcohol. These may cause additional discomfort. If you notice that food starts to taste metallic, try using plastic utensils instead of metal. Sugarless hard candies, such as lemon drops, may help relieve dry mouth. Other common side effects may include diarrhea and or constipation. Diarrhea can contribute to dehydration. Notify your doctor or nurse if you have three or more bowel movements above normal in a 24-hour period. Constipation may contribute to nausea. Even if you are not eating, you should have some bowel activity. Notify your doctor or nurse if you are experiencing problems with constipation. Some chemotherapy may cause infusion reactions. These can be like an allergic reaction. These reactions can range in severity from mild hypersensitivity to severe allergic reaction. During your chemotherapy infusion, immediately tell the nurse if you experience any new feeling, but especially pain, chest discomfort, trouble breathing, itching, or flushing. Some treatments, particularly some of the targeted therapies, may cause a rash. Keep your skin clean and dry. Regular use of moisturizer is recommended. Sunscreen should be applied frequently for outdoor activities. If you develop a rash, be sure to notify your doctor or your nurse so your skin can be assessed and appropriate treatments, if necessary, are ordered. Some chemotherapy medications may influence fertility or your ability to have children in the future. If this is a concern for you, discuss this with your doctor or nurse. If there is any possibility that you could be pregnant, let your doctor or nurse know immediately. Do not get pregnant or get your partner pregnant while you are on chemotherapy. Discuss with your doctor or nurse what methods of birth control might be safe in your situation. During your treatment, you may become fatigued over time. This fatigue can last sometimes months after treatment. Fatigue can be worsened by dehydration. Drink clear, decaffeinated fluids whenever possible. This may help. Adding 30 minutes of physical activity, such as walking every other day, may also help. The Cancer Center does not advocate any special type of anti-cancer diet. It is best to concentrate on maintaining your current weight. Some people find eating five or six small meals is easier than eating three large meals. During chemotherapy, some foods may be more appealing than others. This may require some trial and error to find out what foods work best for you. Be sure to tell your doctor about any supplements, vitamins, over-the-counter medications or herbs that you are taking. These may interact with the chemotherapy. Drink plenty of fluid. It is recommended that you drink two liters of decaffeinated fluids a day, especially 24 hours before treatment and 48 hours after treatment. A dietitian can be consulted for special nutritional concerns. Helpful hints. Wear comfortable clothing. Eat a light meal before treatment. Avoid eating your favorite foods on the day of chemo in case you don't feel well. It may cause you to develop an unpleasant association with that food. Bring something to do during treatment, a book or electronic game. The infusion center has televisions available. Continue with your usual medications unless instructed otherwise by your doctor. Always check with your doctor before starting new supplements, herbs, or other remedies. If possible, bring someone with you or arrange for transportation to and from treatment until you know what your response is to treatment. If you need assistance obtaining a wig, please let your nurse know. Consider getting caps, scarves, or hats to have at home before you need them. Cook ahead and freeze some portion size meals. Think about small treats and plan one for a day or two after treatment. Consider comfortable clothes or athletic wear to use around the house on your less good days. There are resources available to assist you as you complete your chemotherapy. Your doctor or nurse will be able to tell you about these resources available at the Cancer Center or in Lubbock. For additional information, visit the website chemocare.com.